Let's talk about how to choose the right books for your book club discussions. Book clubs often complain to me that their biggest frustration is that they can't sustain conversation about a book for more than 15 or 20 minutes. One of the major reasons that this happens is because you're not choosing the right books. So I want to give you three suggestions on how to choose books for your book club that will be worth talking about for an hour or longer. The first and most important quality for choosing books that are going to sustain a longer, richer discussion is to choose books that are somehow unusual or challenging. So we all love a good beach read, and in fact we may love it so much that we recommend it to all of our friends, but that's not necessarily a book that's going to sustain a very long conversation. Instead, look for books that have some kind of challenge to them. So a book that is just doing something a little bit unusual in terms of its form or structure or in terms of its language or even in terms of its plot so that you have something more to latch onto and talk about when you talk about this book. If you're in a book club that's not really interested in those kinds of challenges, you're probably never going to be able to move beyond a 15 or 20 minute conversation about any book. Another suggestion is to choose books that tap into something that really matters. These books are also going to elicit much more interesting, deep, meaningful conversation among people. So they probably tend to be nonfiction books more than fiction. But uh, just as one example, at a church book group that I attended recently, they talked about Atul Gawanda's book, Being Mortal, and they were shocked at how many people showed up for this discussion. It obviously hit a nerve. It sounded like a really depressing topic, but it actually turned out to be something that really mattered to people, talking about end-of-life issues. So think about those issues that really matter to you and your book club and find books to read that are going to tap into those discussions, those issues that you really need to talk about. Another suggestion is for coming up with a system for choosing books that you think will elicit meaningful conversation. So a lot of book clubs that I've visited have members take turns choosing books and recommending books for everyone else. And that's probably the least effective way to choose your books because people are bringing in books that they loved but not necessarily books that are going to fulfill the need for interesting and insightful conversation. So instead, think about the kinds of books that are going to do that, draw up a list together, and then make up a system for how you're going to choose books. So some book clubs plan a whole year in advance the books that they want to read and really hash it out together and create a list together. I know of a book club that has a member who's a bookseller, and that club relies entirely on that one member to bring them books that he knows they're going to enjoy. There are lots of different ways of going about this, but it's worth having a conversation with your book club about how to choose the books in such a way that you're going to have reads that everybody's going to find meaningful and interesting, at least most of the time. There are lots of other things your book club can do as well to sustain a more meaningful, lengthy conversation about the books, and I have another video on that topic as well. But choosing the right books is really right up there at the top of the list. So it's worth having a conversation with your book club. Give it some thought and see if you can come up with some new ideas about what kinds of books to read. Try it out and see what happens to your discussion. Read on. <laughs>